Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at So Magic Inspirations and Star Trail Tarot and I'm here today with a pick a pile and today we're going to be looking at positive surprises arriving in the next few months for you <coughs> excuse me so we're going to see what's going to come in that's going to surprise you in a good way I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support I really appreciate that if you'd like to have a look at what other things I have I have uh, several poetry books I have a children's story book on Amazon the links are down below I have a deck shop over 90 designs I also have a Patreon which starts at just two pounds a month and I'm also doing an offer right now I have a tarot a beginner's tarot course it's on offer right now for just 20 pounds for three pre-recorded videos to give you information on all the cards every single card in the tarot um, so that's going to be limited up for a short period only okay so we've got three piles so I want you to choose from the top card and I am these are pre-shuffled oracles and I am going to get tarot at the end as well okay so pile one we have relax moon in cancer pile two Leave the past behind, Moon in Capricorn. And Pile 3, Moon in Taurus, Know Your Worth. So pick your pile and we'll get started. Hello Pile 1, so you chose Relax, Moon in Cancer. So you could be a Cancer you, or you're very emotional. You could resonate with somebody that's very emotional, very in touch with their feelings. Uh, maybe you've really been diving deep into your feelings recently, really getting in touch with that. And it's... The advice is to relax. So maybe you've been really working hard. Maybe you've been putting a lot of time and effort into external things. And the message is to relax now. And we are coming into that holiday season. Um, I live in the UK, you know, winter time, Christmas time, New Year's. When a lot of people do have time off um, to spend with family or friends. But whatever you do, whether you're alone or with people, try and find time to relax. It's very important that we rest and recharge especially at this time of year um you know before we had electric light and everything like that people would you know go to bed when it was dark and rise with the you know rise with the sunrise and now we we do stay up you know very late um because we can you know because of the light i don't know why i'm talking about that but maybe you've got sleep problems maybe you're trouble sleeping well we've got pegasus transcended and we've got the number 23 which is a five which is energy change you're transcending you're transcending your situation your problems whatever you're going through you're going to be rising above it um yeah things are going to get easier um you're going to overcome any obstacles um you know you're going to feel better in yourself and i feel this is you know going back to that relax you know have that balance in your life you know work life balance um, make sure you get time to relax in your day at some point especially if you've got sleep problems you know get get your rest where you can and we've got renewal frog spirit renewal so number two zero so yeah this could talk about um well first of all i'm getting this is you you're gonna be feeling renewed and this could time with that relaxed energy so as you relax yourself more you're going to feel renewed, you're going to feel re-energised. Um, and especially at this time of year, you know, we're coming to the end of a very difficult year for a lot of people. And it's the start of a new year very soon. And it's, it is that time of renewal, um, starting afresh, starting again. And I'm also getting, it could be with regard to a connection that you've got, especially with the frog there. You know, you know they always say that, don't they? Um, you have to kiss a lot of frogs. Uh, before you meet your prince, I don't know if you hear that in other countries, but in the UK, you know, it's a saying. Um, so you could have been, you know, dating around um, with a lot of frogs, as it were. And I feel there's some sort of renewal with somebody, OK, who's going to turn into like your prince charming. And with the number two zero as well, I also always see that as relationship energy, partnership energy. So there could be a renewal of a connection here for some of you, if that resonates. 
we've got daughter spirit at number five again so we've got five five which is a you know master number so daughter spirit you could be feeling more connected to spirit maybe it's your guides your angels maybe you're meditating um, maybe you're getting downloads of some sort or if, if not they want you to connect with them more uh, the door is opening you have that open channel they want you connect, to connect more with them um, they need your permission to come in so you know give them your permission to come in they want to you know connect with you give you guidance support so open up to that We've got heart of source, all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, serenity. So to me, this is talking about initially self-love, realising that you are an aspect of source. We all are. We're all part of the divine. We're all perfect in our, in our own way. And love yourself, you know, love yourself more. And the more you can love yourself, the more you can spread that love around and give that love to others. Accept yourself unconditionally. Stop judging yourself. Stop um you know setting a high bar or comparing yourself to others whatever that is and that will bring serenity and also this renewal could bring in that un unconditional love you know you could be meeting somebody that is your match that is somebody that is going to match you in that unconditional loving energy that somebody that maybe is now in you know in their own self-love energy We've got intuition, blue lotus, number five again. Wow. So you've got five, five, five. So very strong changes coming in. Um, and it starts with ourselves. I feel with yourself, working with yourself. Blue lotus is a very powerful oil. And they used to, um, you know, they used to use the leaves in ancient times, the tea. And it was like, um, like a semi-psychedelic. I mean, it's not strong. And um, they used it in the temples. Um, maybe you might feel guided to get some of this oil or get some of the tea, the blue lotus tea. I've tried that. Um, it might help you maybe get more in touch with your intuition. Um, but I feel there is going to be an opening up and awakening more. You are going to feel more connected to your intuition, especially in that self-love energy, and especially opening up to spirit more and receiving guidance and downloads. We've got Dragonfly energy, number eight. So eight is the energy of abundance. And it says, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal and connection to spirit. Wow. So it's just confirming that. This is going to be a time when you're going to feel more connected to spirit. You're going to feel a renewal. It's just confirming all the other cards. I hadn't noticed that before. So that's amazing. So there is a renewal in your life. You're going to be feeling more joyful. You're going to feel more connected and as you do this as you relax as we said at the beginning and in that energy of self-love just being in the flow you're going to attract an abundance of feel into your life in, in all areas we've got beneath the surface what's really driving you true motives breaking free so yeah look you know go within do that inner work dive deep and um, what is driving you, you know, especially if you've been working hard like a workaholic and you haven't taken time out to relax, to take a break, as they're encouraging you to do. What is causing you to do this? What is driving you on? And, you know, you need, we all need balance in our life to find that balance, um, as I said earlier, between work and home lives. You know, life is not just about work. Even if you enjoy the work, you know, we need to do other things, other activities. What are your motives? Breaking free of that. So breaking free of feeling, you know, driven in some way that you need to achieve this or that by a certain date. Being kind to yourself, as we said, you know, being unconditionally loving is really going to help you, I feel. You're going to transcend it. We've got that. You're going to transcend this fear. Maybe it is fear and um, that's keeping you stuck on the treadmill. So this is my life lessons deck. And we've got fated meeting soulmates. Wow. So it does go back to this uh, renewal energy. For some of you, it is somebody returning. And if it's not somebody returning, it could be somebody you've known in a past life um, where you did share a connection, you shared a relationship, and there's, there's work to be done between you. So let's get your tarot. So what surprises, what positive surprises in store? Part one. 
positive surprises for part one. We've got Knight of Wands energy, so it could be a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sometimes it is seen as a player, but it just I feel it's just somebody who's younger than you. Somebody that's very passionate and very driven like you, I feel. And we've got the Magician energy here. So, yeah, the Magician, I feel you're manifesting your desires. You're working hard. You've got the Fool energy. So you're ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready for that new beginning. Wow. And we've got the Two of Cups. So there is mutual love coming towards you. And I feel it starts with ourselves, you know, being in that energy of self-love, self-worth. Wow, yeah, look at that. Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning in love. Brand new start, but it starts with ourselves. And I feel, you know, you focusing on that self-love. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to start moving forward here in your life, you know, as you start relaxing more, trusting more and connecting with spirit more. And being in that loving energy of self-love. And just being that empress energy. Attract, attract, attract. Be receptive to what is coming towards you. Okay, part one, I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Hello, part two. Let's have a look at your positive surprises. We've got the leave the past behind. Capricorn energy. So you could be a Capricorn. Or you resonate with that energy. Somebody grounded. Somebody hardworking. Um, somebody that, you know, is powerful. Um, it's time to leave the past behind. So maybe you've been living in the past. Maybe you've been thinking about the past a lot. Um, keep going over it in your mind. We sometimes do that, don't we? And it's time to leave the past behind. So whatever that means for you, whether that's a, a, a job, a home situation, a relationship, um you know, whatever didn't work out for you, it's time to leave it behind and allow yourself that fresh start. And we've got stability, Earth Spirit, number 14. So five, the energy of change. So stability is coming towards you, okay? Maybe you haven't felt very stable in your life for some reason, but you are going to start feeling more stable. There's going to be stability coming towards you. And I feel that's leaving the past behind, like grounding your energy and living in the now, living in the moment. And we've got expansion. And we've got number three plus seven a ten, which is a one, new beginning. Wow, look at the beautiful images here. And we've got the yellow there, the yellow bird with the solar plexus that's standing out for me. So I feel as you get into more self-esteem, self-worth, you're going to be able to expand and, you know, feel better about yourself. And achieve more in that confidence energy, that self-worth, that self-esteem energy. And really go for things. That bird is up high. I feel you're going to achieve a lot more um, once you get into this energy. You know, living in the moment, being in the now. Focusing on now, getting grounded. And you can expand outwards and, and really increase uh, whatever you're trying to do. You're going to expand um, your life. Wow, we've got the sun. So we've got two ones, one one. So the sun, there's joy, happiness coming towards you. And I feel this is you um, in your feelings, you know, really feeling your emotions, not trying to suppress it, not trying to deny it, just getting in touch with your feelings more with that water in the cup there. And being feeling happy, being in that energy of self-love, you know, loving yourself, um, seeing your worth, as I said with that yellow bird, seeing your worth, being in good self-esteem, and your life is going to expand, you know, you're going to be able to expand your life. And we've got surrender here as well, number 26, which is an eight. So I feel surrendering, trusting more, um, trusting more in yourself, trusting in your intuition, trusting in the universe, in God, whatever you believe in, um, really surrendering, not trying to control every outcome. As I said, being in the now, being in the moment, it's going to be more beneficial for you to expand, to expand your life. And we have conferring over five here, three plus two, five, completion. You know, I feel you're completing a cycle because we've got two ones here, so new beginning. So yeah, it is about leaving the past behind, you know, leaving that where it is. You know, take any lessons with you, but leave it behind you and move forward with confidence and trust and faith. And and being a good self-worth, self-esteem, 
feeling good about who you are and yeah it you know it's time you're completing that cycle and you're you're coming into a new beginning and we've got transformation another five wow so we've got three fives reach out for the power and strength to make changes enrich your life become the person you want to be yes i feel this is all connected with that you know, as I said, you're transforming your energy, you're transforming into a much more confident self, you know, better self-worth, self-love, seeing the value of who you are, being in a happier energy, feeling good about where you're at, feeling stable, feeling grounded, surrendering, trusting more, and knowing that you have the power and strength to make changes in your life, to move forward in, in a positive way. And it's about leaving the past behind and being in the now, living in the moment now, to expand your life much more. And with the ripple effect, part of something bigger, details are taken care of. So I feel this is if you're, as you're doing work on yourself, you know, healing work, releasing work, I feel it affects people around you, okay? Um, not necessarily just people in your life, but people in the, in the world in general. You know, we are all connected. So every one of us that does any healing or releasing, it really does have that ripple effect. It really does help other people. And it's more notice noticeable in the people around you in your life. So I feel you're going to see that. I, I feel you're going to see that as you let go of the past and maybe do cord cutting with people as well. I've got a cord cutting ritual on my channel, but there are loads online. You know, use that to cut cords with people, situations, um, we drain each other's energy, you know, we have these connections with people, energetic connections that can drain our energy. It's all subconscious, it's not conscious. Um, but you can do this, this will help as well. And have that awareness, you know, being in the moment, being in the now, I feel it's really going to help you um, to expand, to be more present, to be more in the moment, to be more joyful. And to complete that cycle, it's time to complete that cycle and surrender to the expansion that wants to come in and we've got someone from the past may get in touch so as you change your energy as you release as you stop trying to control everything uh, again it does shift we have that ripple effect so i feel by you doing that it could affect a connection you have with somebody okay so that could be a friend it could be a family member it could be an ex-lover so what surprises are in store for pile two? What surprises are in store for pile two? What positive surprises are in store for pile two? Surprises in store for part two. We've got the eight of swords reversed. So you're coming out of your head. You're getting into your feelings. I said that. You're getting more in touch with your feelings. You're coming out of your head. We've got the queen of swords energy here. I feel that this is your energy. I feel that you are very much having strong boundaries. You're speaking your truth. You're being more authentic. And we've got the four of wands. So we said about that stability coming in. You're going to be more grounded. And we have a page of pentacles. So there, there is a start of a new beginning. We saw that. And a page of cups. So, you know, this message from somebody from the past could be around love for some of you. This is positive. Surprises for pile two. The cards just jumped out. Positive surprises for pile two. We've got success and victory coming in in your life. So things are going to, you're going to achieve your goals. Yeah, look at that. You're going to be taking that leap of faith. You're not afraid to. And we've got page of swords. So you're being honest and, and authentic with yourself and others, I feel. What positive surprises for Paul? Two. Yeah, we've got the chariot energy. So your life is going to move forward. Yeah, we've got the star. So after a period of healing, like I said, that releasing, that healing, whatever you're doing, your wishes are fulfilled. You're, you're going to manifest your desires. So that's beautiful energy, party. I'm going to leave you there, love and blessings. 
Hello Par 3, what positive surprises are coming your way? So we have, you chose Know Your Worth, Moon in Taurus. So you could be a Taurus, or you could resonate in that energy. You could be somebody very earthy, very down to earth, very grounded, that appreciates the good things in life. Um, yeah, maybe you've struggled with this, knowing your worth. Maybe you've accepted less than you deserve from others and for yourself because you didn't feel worthy, you didn't feel deserving. And your guides and angels want you to know your worth, to really know that you're you're deserving the best. And, you know, as we accept that, as we acknowledge that, we will attract in that for ourselves. So I feel that's what you need to do, just to shift in that. Wow, we have love energy here. So four plus seven. So it's a 12. No, sorry, it's an 11. Can't add up. 11, love. So there could be love coming towards you, you know, a loving connection, but I feel it starts with ourselves. So being in that... <clears throat> energy of self-love but I definitely feel there is a love coming towards you and this person could be somebody that likes to give you flowers give you roses There's a lot of flowers in that um, and roses you could you could be somebody that likes roses in particular and they could express their feelings with this you know we've given you flowers and we have sanctuary number 26 so we've got an eight mystic meadow so yeah, there's going to be a sanctuary. You're going to find a sanctuary in your life. So this could be a new home that you're going to move to, or this could be somewhere in your home or somewhere around your area. Um, it could be in nature. Um, but I feel, again, it could also be within your heart, okay? Um, you're going to, I feel it, you're going to meet somebody that you can trust with your heart. And I feel maybe you've struggled with that. Maybe you've had trust issues around relationships because of things not working out. And you found it difficult to trust others. And I feel this person coming in is a sanctuary for you. You're going to really feel safe. That's the main message I'm getting. You're going to feel safe. But for others of you, it could be an actual place. But I feel for a lot of you, this person is going to give you a heart sanctuary. You're going to feel safe to love and to open up to love again. We've got the thinking man, number 10 and number 1. So this, this could be the person, okay? They could be an air sign or they could be somebody that is very intelligent, very much in their head rather than in their feelings or they don't show their emotions or feelings. Um, you know, they're very logical maybe. Um, but again, you know, waters run deep. I feel this person does have deep emotions and feelings. But they may just not show it. As I said, they may show it <clears throat> through buying you flowers or gifts or expressing it in that way rather than actually saying things to you. Um, they think about things very deeply. Yeah, we have transformational energy. So there's transformation coming into your life, definitely. And we've got another rose. So roses could be very significant for you and the butterfly energy. Okay, so I feel as you get into that self-love energy, you get into that, you know, feeling more, you know, knowing your worth, being in that self-worth, self-esteem energy, you're going to really bring in this love. But it starts with ourselves, so loving ourselves, really knowing that you are worthy, you are deserving, will bring in this love. And as you do that, it transforms your life. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Oh my God, we've got another rose. Wow love wow look at that two hands we've got the dove we've got the arrow through the heart we've got the roses again wow number 12 is a three three talks about collaboration this is somebody that really does want to build with you they want to have a proper relationship there's a lot of love here there's deep feelings here there's peace here it could be sudden, you know, this could happen with the arrow through the heart. I mean, this could be a sudden, I mean, it's never happened to me, but I know it does happen to people like love at first sight energy is what I'm picking up. And you could be from different ethnicities, you know, we've got the white and the dark hand there. Um, don't have to be, you could just be very different. Opposites attract, you know, you could be very different. And again, rose again. 
<clears throat> so that name could be significant for some of you. Maybe that is your name. Um, or you do love roses. You know, rose is a flower. And that could be very significant in your, you know, your relationship. You know, maybe this person knows that and is going to buy you roses. Um, they're, they're really going to express themselves maybe through gifts. Um, but yeah, I mean, there is so much love here. Um, really is so much love here. I mean, we've got two cards with the word love from two different decks, so <clears throat> there is so much love here for you, but it starts with ourselves. And we've got angel number two. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. And we've got the number two, and the number two to me is always about relationships, partnerships. I feel that your angels are guiding you two together, okay? Your spirit guides, your angels, even your higher self, they are guiding you and this person together I feel okay and they want you to connect with them more they want you to pray or meditate on this um they need our permission to come in and help us but they are helping you in the way they can they're guiding you towards each other I feel um it's a very spiritual connection I feel this is destined but it starts with ourselves we you know you need to get into that self-love energy We've got unicorn energy, number 33, which is a power number. Success, hope, freedom, healing and magic are all available to you if you just believe. Wow. And this, I just noticed there's two unicorns here. Wow. So definitely picking up soulmate or even twin flame energy here. Um, Yeah, 3-3 three, three is also connected with the Ascended Master, so... This is a very powerful connection I feel coming towards you and it's going to bring success and hope, freedom, healing, you're going to help each other heal, magic, um, you just need to believe in this, you just need to believe and know that you're worthy, know you're deserving, um, having that self-worth, you know, having that self-love and as you do that, that's going to bring everything in, this is going to bring all this in to you, so I don't know what's going crooked again. Deep sea diving, way of the mystic, learn through experience in depths. Wow. So to me, this is talking about your emotions, really going into the depths of yourself. And also you're going to go into the depths of this person. You're going to really share each other's, you know, deep, deep emotions. Even though this person doesn't appear emotional on the surface, there's deep depths. As I said, they're very deep. They have a lot of emotions within them, okay? And I feel you're going to share that with each other. You're really going to share your experiences. You're going to share your inner selves with each other. It's a very powerful connection. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And this is my deck, Life Lessons. What's the message? Someone reaches out by phone. It could be unexpected. So again, you know, this could be connected with this love message. This could be somebody... And maybe you're in separation from somebody or maybe it's somebody you've not met yet and you've been talking online or something like that. Um, it'd be different for everybody. It could be a friend, it could be family, but because of the other cards, I definitely feel it's a love connection here. Somebody's going to reach out out the blue. Oh my God. The Two of Hearts, Union. So that just flew out. So yeah, I think there's a union coming towards you and it's a spiritual union. It's it's meant to be and it's being guided here. Oh my God, I can't shuffle. Even my um, phone got excited. <laughs> I can't shuffle. What are the positive surprises for pile three? We've got Knight of Trees, Knight of Coins, Custodian. So it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or it could have just be very slow moving energy. You you know, if it's somebody you you've been apart from, it could you could it could have taken some time for, before this person comes forward, or you could have been single for quite a long time before this person comes forward. But they're very stable. Um, and we've got Seven of Angels, Progress that came out reverse. So. Yeah, there's, there's things been hidden from you maybe before. Um, things were not clear. Okay, because upright, that can be <coughs> deceit and lies. 
but I feel things are coming out, you know, you're going to see the truth, maybe of another situation. Why is the Seven of Angels there? Yeah, look at that, Ace of Angels, Wisdom. You're going to see the truth, you know, you're going to be, the truth is going to be revealed to you about certain situation in the past that wasn't right for you. Positive surprises. Yeah, we've got six of trees, six of kinds. Receive and allow yourself to receive. And I feel maybe that was your problem before in relationships. You just gave and gave and gave. And now it's your turn, you know, step into that Empress energy. So this is going to be a very balanced connection. You can see that this person is very giving. Okay, it's a very giving person. You may not have experienced that before. Yeah, we've got the High Priestess. So tap into your own intuition and follow your inner guidance because your angels and guides are really, connect. you know, getting you two together. And we've got the Ace of Wands energy here. Creation. Yeah, you're going to create something beautiful together, something magical. Um, but it starts with your, ourselves, you know, doing that inner work. It's going to be a lot of passion here. Yeah, and we've got temperance, acceptance, harmony. A lot of balance. This is very balanced connection. I feel you're going to meet when you're in balance in your own energies. And it's going to be very balanced, give and take. It's, you know, not going to be out of balance. Yeah, we've got the world, expansion, wow, and the sun. Oh, my God, how beautiful is that? So this is a whole new chapter in your life. And maybe you've never experienced anything like this before. And your life is going to expand. And, you know, you've got the sun coming in. You've got renewed vitality coming in here. You're going to have a period of happiness and joy um, and magic and love. Wow. How beautiful is that? So I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love and blessings. Take care.